here at Richmond, Virginia's annual Monument 10K, we have many excited runners participating in the race. Unfortunately, a few parents were not able to participate because strollers were not allowed in the race. Unfortunately, there's not really any good options for if you have a baby. Uh, you know, you, don't, you can't put the baby in a stroller. You can't put a baby in a baby carrier and walk it. Uh, it's just pretty unfortunate. So I ran it, but my wife was not able to run. And we spoke with officials who explained why strollers were prohibited in this year's race. It's a safety concern, um, also an insurance concern uh, to have too many strollers mixed in with all the participants. Uh, we do offer a stroller friendly training program where parents can train with their kids leading up to the event um, and then just on race day uh, the strollers aren't allowed. Some parents agreed with sports backers decision to prohibit strollers due to the overall safety of their children. I think the people that have the strollers are generally for disabled people. Um, I think for sportables, I think sportables is a group that does that. Um, but no, I, I don't think it's unfair that they don't have strollers. When you have so many people, you have to think about the fact they have 40 plus thousand people that are running on the course and strollers are just something else you got to add into it. And if everybody was able to have a stroller, it really, I think, would cause more problems than, than it would help. Inclusive Racing, an organization that assists those with disabilities to participate in races, is an exception to the rule due to their adaptive strollers. I think it's really special because I can go out and not run anytime, and I love to run. Um, but why not help someone who can't run and someone who gets to feel like an athlete for once? And it's really cool.